Over the last several weeks, I've been going through a lot of my tackle and trying to show you guys the colors of different baits that I use. I think it's really important in bass fishing just to simplify everything that we use. There's a thousand different colors of every single lure out there and it can seem really complicated, especially if you go down the aisle of any big box retailer, you're gonna see tons and tons of different colors of plastics and crankbaits and no matter what it is. So in this series, I'm really just trying to to help you eliminate the waste to really simplify your bass fishing and I really think that simplifying your colors and only keeping a few colors with you really allows you to concentrate more on where you are fishing and not necessarily oh I gotta have this color or this color today is a special day because we're gonna go through my Ned rig box so I'm going to show you the colors of Ned rigs that I use as well as some of the jig heads that I use now I actually pour my own jig heads and if you guys want to see a video like that just let me know down below in the comments because there are several videos of guys who are building and pouring net heads so there's nothing really unique about it but if you want to see the way that I do it then I can always make a video on that all right let's jump into the Ned rig colors that you need now when it comes to a Ned rig, most of the time I'm using the TRD, whether it's the 2.75 inch one uh, or the four inch one. Typically I'm using that. There are times where I will use the Guggenbaits Rattlin Ned when I want a little bit of that rattle in there. But most of the time I am using the Z-Man product. Now the best thing about these right now is that you can actually get both of these at a pretty big discount at sportsmansoutfitters.com. I think actually right now the the z-mans are like 2.99 when i think they're usually like 3.99 or 4.99 depending on where you get them so you can pick up your z-mans your guggen baits your other ned style baits all at sportsmansoutfitters.com i'll leave a link down below in the description go ahead and click on that save you some money and stock up on some neds the first color that i really really like in a ned rig bait is actually this one that i'm holding right here and this is the yoga pants color now, if you look at this color, it's really just kind of like almost like a dark charcoal type color. There's even some hints of green in it, but for the most part, it's just kind of a very dark bait. I mean, you might look at it real quick and think it's black. This is a great color that I think is a very underrated color. I don't think as many people are, are throwing the yoga pants color. And the best thing about this is it works in all different water clarities and conditions. For me, uh, you know, this is one of the ones that I keep on the boat at all times. Like I said, if I'm fishing extremely clear water for smallmouth, this is a phenomenal bait. You know, I think that it might look like a little bit of a leech down there to the smallmouth because of it just being so dark in color. But also if I'm fishing in very off color water, this is another good color to use because it being dark, it just silhouettes a little bit better in that darker, that off color water. So yoga pants, I know that the name might kind of sound weird but in my opinion this is one of the best colors it's one that I keep with me a lot it's one that I use a lot the next color that I keep with me is a June bug the good old June bug Ned now again if I am fishing off color water this June bug is another great option now where I separate a color like this from a color like the yoga pants that I was just talking about is really going to be dependent on kind of the the muddiness of the water sometimes you fish in off color water but it's really a deep stain and sometimes you fish in off color water and it's a little bit more brown and muddy if I'm fishing that brown and muddy type color that's when I'm gonna pick up this June bug. Now, another great place to throw a June bug, and I've talked about this a lot on the channel already, is anytime you're fishing around tannic colored water. So if you fish down in Florida, this little Ned rig is a great color and great bait to use. Now I know what you might be thinking, well, if I'm fishing in Florida, I'm not gonna be using a Ned rig bait. And guys, here's the deal. A couple years ago, I was fishing a Bassmaster Open on the Harris Chain of Lakes, and I happened to do pretty well in that tournament. I think I got 25th in that tournament out of 225 guys. But a guy that I've had on this channel before, his name is Chad Smith. Chad Smith was actually fishing in some of the same type of areas that I was fishing, 
but he was using a 2.75 inch Ned rig just like this. And he caught some pretty big bass on this little bitty Ned rig. So even if you fish on places that have big bass on them, like Harris Chain or wherever it may be, Lake Chickamauga, there are times where bass just want that extremely small profile. And if I'm fishing tannic colored water or really kind of that muddier water, that's what I'm gonna go with this June bug. All right, the next color is another phenomenal color. And when I use this color is pretty much during the pre-spawn and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. Um, but the color is called bubble gut. Now I actually don't have any bubble guts with me right now. This color that I'm holding though is called hot crawl and it's a very similar color to the bubble gut. If you look at it, it's kind of a two-tone color where it's kind of a green pump pumpkin on one side and on the other side it's actually kind of like a reddish pink color. Now this particular color hot crawl is more of a reddish on the bottom. The bubble gut is more of a pinkish on the bottom. They're very similar baits but guys this is the color that I go with during that pre-spawn time frame. I wasn't always a huge fan of this particular color but one of my best friends that I fish with often he really got me hooked on that bubble gut color and he showed me by catching fish on it why it is such a good color and I think again it really kind of excels during that pre-spawn time frame and, and it's for the same reason that we've talked about in other videos is because that red that pink, that orangish color that really can do so well during the pre-spawn. Now, will they work outside the pre-spawn? Yeah, absolutely they will. I've just seen that other colors tend to work a little bit better. But again, bass fishing is all about experimenting. So you just have to experiment to find out which colors are gonna work best for you. All right, the next two colors I probably fish the most out of pretty much any of these colors. And that is either green pumpkin, straight green pumpkin, or like the one that I'm holding here, a green pumpkin goby. I'm gonna lump these into kind of the same color, either green pumpkin or green pumpkin goby because I use them in a lot of the same situations, which it's it's basically kind of my go-to. If I don't know what to throw, it's gonna be one or the other. Now, if I'm fishing around a lot of smallmouth, I like to fish this green pumpkin goby color. It has a little bit of that gold flash to it. It has a little bit of purple flash to it. And I've just seen that the smallmouth really, really like this bait. Now there are days, especially when you get out there fishing, where things are very just still, calm. It's sunny, it's, it's just very still conditions. And when I have those type of conditions, that's when I'm gonna pick up that straight green pumpkin, that, that green pumpkin that we all love. Now, a lot of times if there's a, a little bit of wind out there on the water, that's when I'm gonna pick up the green pumpkin goby. Uh, and again, a lot of times when I'm fishing it for smallmouth, those two colors though, you could probably just fish those and you're gonna catch fish on a Ned rig like 90%, 95% of the time. A green pumpkin or like this one, the green pumpkin goby. The next color is bubble gum straight up bubble gum. And I really only use bubble gum for one situation. And that's any time I am sight fishing for bass that are on beds. Bubble gum is just easy for me to see. And it just looks like a little snack down there for the bass. And they seem to hit pink when they're on beds better than other colors, better than even natural colors at times. And I have no clue why, but I've just seen it wear pink. Whether that's bubble gum like this Ned rig or bubble gum like a trick worm, those are two great baits to use on bedding fish, whether you're fishing for smallmouth, largemouth, or spots, they all seem to like pink. And a Ned rig is a great bed fish bait, typically because I'm fishing it with an exposed hook. So if those fish pick that bait up, most of the time I got them. All right, guys, moving on to the last color before I get into my jig heads real quick. And that is a peanut butter and jelly color, just like this. And when I use this peanut butter and jelly, to me, for whatever reason, it seems like I pick this up pretty much exclusively during the summer months. I don't know why. I, I, I've always done well on peanut butter and jelly jigs during the summer. And so I think I just have that same process, that same thought process. I wish I kind of had a, a well thought out reason as to why it works. I honestly don't. And I, it's just something that I have confidence in and confidence probably is the most important part about selecting colors when you're out there on the water. Now, the only other one that I tend to have is this Guggenbait's 
Ratlin Ned. Um, I think this is the Black Flash. Yeah, Black Flash. This color is one that I will use on those very nasty days. When you go out there and it's just nasty out, it's raining, it's it's cloudy, the wind is howling, this is the bait that I pick up. One, you have a little bit of rattles obviously in it, so that's gonna help those fish track it down on those nasty days, but also it's a very dark color. So if it's very dark outside, this bait is gonna show up really, really well. Add in the rattles, and it's just a great Ned bait for fish to find on those really dark, nasty days. Now, there's a ton of different Ned products out there on the market. I mean, yes, you could cut a Cinco in half and use that if you want, although I do think there are times where you want that elastic, you want that bait to be standing straight up, but sometimes it doesn't matter. There's a ton of different colors. There's a ton of different baits. Those are the ones that I keep on me. Those are the ones that I use. So real quick, I want to talk about the jig head that I use. And again, if you guys want to watch me pour Ned heads, just let me know down in the comments. I'll do a video about doing that. But this is the little Ned head that I make. Uh, my buddy makes a lot of them for me as well. And it just has a little one on owner in it. It's the typical do it molds Ned head. Now there's two different sizes that I fish a lot. Uh, the first one that I probably fish the most of the time is the one eighth ounce size. That's the one that is my go-to. Like that's the one that I keep on. Now, if you get into a little bit more of those windy situations, that's when I'm gonna go to those one fifth sizes and one sixth sizes. That helps me to feel that Ned rig a little bit better on the bottom. Now you can definitely go lighter than one eighth if you want. And honestly, you'll probably get more bites by going a lot lighter, but you really lose out on a lot of feel. You might have to step it down to six pound line. And I like to throw a Ned rig a lot of times on eight pound line, even 10 pound line when I can get away with it. As far as the head color goes, usually it's either gonna be straight lead colored, green pumpkin, black, or kind of this reddish color color like the one that I'm holding right here. So, all right, that is the Ned Rig box. Don't forget to pick up your Ned Rig supplies at sportsmansoutfitters.com right there. And if you want to watch another video that I did that's like this one with chatterbaits, you can click this video right here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.